Hey you guys, so we have left our home and allowed them to do what needs to be done to our floors. I'm super, super excited. So the hubby and I is just out wasting some time. They said it's going to take about four hours to get everything done. So I'm in the outlet just to do a online pickup order and uh, waste some time. So yeah, let's go see what they have. <laughs> I wish the hell you would. Uh uh. I wish I would split anything. I'll divorce you right here, right now. <laughs> It looks so different. <laughs> yes, Chip, you put my chair out there? Huh? You put my chair out there? Me, me. Oh no, hurry, get out. Uh, Bird yeah, shit. Bird caca. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> it looks so good. You know, my friend? Yeah. You know? No. 
It's brighter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Ready. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Thank you. You guys, it looks so different in here. Ah! Okay, so now it is done. I'm about to sweep my dust while I have the opportunity and just start putting things back together. I don't know um, if I'll come back on this um, this evening, but y'all will see when everything is back in place. Y'all, look at this mess. Send help. Send help, please. I gotta put all this stuff back in the babe cave. All right, you guys, so far, this is all I've accomplished. So I got my vanity in, I got my desk back in, got my system back in. So right now I'm about to put my fragrances and lotions back on the shelf. And yeah, after that, we're going to take a lunch break and just chill out, get a hot shower, and just, I don't want to overdo it. Um, but I've come, you know, not far as I want to, but mighty long way. <laughs> I know I'm not showing myself on the camera. It's because I look a whole fool and a half, and I just don't want to do y'all like that. Like, I look right. <laughs> but I don't mind sharing you guys with you guys behind the scenes. This is all my fragrances and stuff that I need to put up. So, yeah. I'll be back after I get everything situated. take a quick little lunch break so i'm having uh rosa it's a cute little taco spot here in town so you get three chicken soft tacos beans and rice and i always get a cup of pico um this is a six dollar meal so i'm about to eat on this and then i'm gonna chill out and then i will start back on my room later
What's up, y'all? So, it's been a few hours later. I have worked on the babe cave for quite some time. Um, ate lunch, as you saw. And then I just took me a nap in my little chair because I was exhausted. But um, it's still the same day, of course. I wanted to share with you just a few items that I picked up from Bath & Body Works. I'm sure y'all saw that at the beginning of the vlog. <clears throat> Didn't pick up much, but they had a hand soap sale the other day. So I just picked up the hubby and our favorite hand soap. And his is the mahogany teak wood. And mine is Champagne Toast, but it's not my absolutely favorite. The one that I really do like, can't think of the name of it, but they didn't have it in stock. So I just picked that to um, use my coupon. Then I had a free item for this um, hand cream. So I picked up the Gingham Original. And then lastly, I just picked up this hot pink pocket back holder. I've never seen this color before, and y'all know this is absolutely my favorite shade of pink, so I got that. And next, I want to share with you guys one item that I got. It was three days late um, from Amazon. One of my followers on Instagram shared this with me. Um, her name is Julia B, I believe, on Instagram. She showed me this Louis Vuitton inspired keychain. And I just received it today. I'll make sure I leave it linked down below in my Amazon storefront. I don't know how long it will be <coughs> listed. You guys know how they do. But this is absolutely great quality. I was fairly surprised by the quality. It feels like the real thing. I have yet to take out the plastic, but I could just tell the, the heaviness of the keychain, and I'm excited. It was under, I believe, 20 bucks. I believe this was like $16. I was trying to take the plastic off. I was waiting to share it with you guys. So it does have all the logo on there. You probably can't see. I don't really want to turn that light on, but I might have to. So it has the LV right here. But if you look right here, you can see where it has the little baton. So this was a cute little, in, not investment, but purchase um, that I can put on my little baton bag. Trying to take this plastic out. They got it wrapped pretty well. Ugh. It's time for me to go get my nails done. Y'all know these are my nails. I just have an overlay. I've been trying to wait to get them done until I get through with a lot of the projects in my home. Because sometimes that does put wear and tear on your nails. So, but I have a lot of collaborations I need to get out so I need to look presentable so I'm gonna have to just go ahead and get it done so I can get these videos out to you guys as well as the companies because they have a time frame they want you to put their stuff out on social media um so yeah I still need to do a 5-2 video um of all my eyeglasses. I've done one here on YouTube, but I need to do one for my other platforms. Okay, so now that I removed all the plastic, this is what the keychain looked like. It, excuse my watch, you guys. Um, this is what it looks like. It has the Louis Vuitton logo right there. So cute. I don't understand why is that upside down. Huh. I want to chose to put it upside down, but yeah, I guess so. If it that's probably why, so it can dangle like that, and you can attach something right there. So super cute. I'll make sure I leave this down below, and I'll be attaching it to my speedy right here, so I can put y'all in frame. 
I don't know. I may take that Mickey off. I don't know. But this is the bag I'll be putting it on. Y'all, if y'all have an authentic Louis Vuitton, if y'all have ever had any creasing and you knew what to do to resolve that, let me know because I'm going to have to end up taking her to the doctor because that crease right there has came about and I don't know how to get it out. I'm so afraid to, you know, try to heat um, method, which is with the blow dryer and everything. I don't want to mess it up because this is a vintage Speedy and I just, I do not want to mess her up. So if y'all know a way to get this out without using heat, let me know. I know probably y'all will tell me to use heat, but I'm going to try to refrain from doing so. All right, you guys, that is all I want to share with you for is today. I'll catch y'all back tomorrow. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It is the next day. And your girl been up early working. And I'm trying to do everything that I need to do. Plus finish this vlog for you guys. Um, I'm a little behind. I didn't get far in my babe cave because I was tired. But that's all right. I have all day and have tomorrow to finish it. Because I need to get it out the way before the weekend. Because I have a lot of stuff I need to do that requires my room to be completed so today is wednesday happy pink wednesday um i just did a reel on tiktok for this collaboration i did with marie i'm so excited to be working with this company because this is the viral eye gel patches that everyone has been talking about on tiktok so when they reached out to me i was like oh my god but like I said, I manifested this because I had this in my cart on Amazon anyway. But I was just kind of like taking my time on purchasing it because I'm real iffy about putting stuff on my skin. And I'm not one to jump on the bandwagon. So I read up on all the reviews. I read up all the ingredients. And you guys, this stuff is amazing. As an older woman season if i will um i sometimes neglect under my eyes like i focus on the outer parts of my skin but i don't focus more so on um my under eye areas and that's the area that's starting to let me know girl you get old <laughs> but yeah i love it i've tried it i saw an immediate results like it left my under eyes very bright and very moisturized and the fact that you get 12 packs is awesome. So I was really, really excited to have tried this. Check out that reel if you're not following me on Pink Madame. I don't know what you're doing with your life, honey. Follow me over there. I make sure I leave all my Instagram handles down below. And if you guys love like home decor, lifestyle, follow me on Live to Shine as well because that's where all the tea is happening over there as well. It's not like the pink madame which is all the cute and girly stuff but yeah loving this loving this i'll make sure i leave this down below in my amazon storefront definitely highly recommend so yeah i don't have really much going on far as the room is concerned because like i said i'm gonna take my time but i need to get it done before the weekend but i'm gonna share with you right quick what i've done so far it's not much i'm gonna be like she ain't did nothing all right, so far, I've gotten all my fragrances now. They're not like I had it, because I just have so many. But I got it all put up. I took all my Barbie hand creams out the packaging that I shared with you guys and put them in there. So, yeah. I need to reorganize my unit, because this is not how it's going to be. I'm going to kind of like color coordinate it and everything. I need to put up some of my scarves and hats and y'all, it's just, 
it's just still a lot. I need to put my desk back into place. I need to hang that picture, which I think I'm going to end up selling that picture. It's another kind of picture that I want. Um, Yeah. So, yeah, I've gotten quite a bit done. So, yeah. Also, why I have you, because I need to go ahead and end this vlog and get it out to you guys. I want to share with you guys this um, Timu bag. This is not sponsored. Hold on, let me give myself some room. See if I can put y'all on this tripod. Wow. Nope, I can't do it. Hold on, y'all. All right, you guys. Like I said, I want to share with you this bag that um I got from Timu. Now, she was real cute, but the other day... <laughs> I went out and her little bow that I put on there. Okay, can y'all see? So I got this really cute Christian Dior inspired tote bag from Timu. I believe she was under $10. And then I also saw a vendor that was selling a Christian Dior scarf. So I just thought this would be a nice cute little touch to you know, jazz it up. Even though this print is doing a whole lot itself, I just thought that was be really, really cute. She was cute when I, can y'all see that? So, I think this is actually very chic. Especially, I carry her over the weekend. I st I'm still in her. Um, and I have quite a bit of stuff in here. She wasn't heavy. She held up all my essentials in here. I was worried about the fact it was going to probably start to like fray from the handle, but it did it. And here's the back. This is super cute. And it had different other prints, but you know, of course this black and white was speaking to me. I'ma take off the scarf so you can see. It don't have the word Dior on it, but it does has Christian. And um, I like it, you guys, look. That is so cute, right? I'm telling you, you don't have to spend a lot of money this print on the back matches the bag really, really well. You don't have to spend a lot of money. Let's see if I can turn y'all around right here. Y'all excuse my clothes. I'm telling you, I just, I'm still trying to put stuff together. Uh, I'm not great at tying bows, but I will try on here. Y'all don't be looking at me. Y'all gonna make me nervous. <laughs> Um, you don't have to spend a lot of money to get the look, the chic look. Like, how you gonna spend all that money and then don't have no money to put in the bag? You know what I'm saying? That's my motto. Like, I spend my money on areas that's really, really important. Y'all don't laugh at me trying to do this bow now. Y'all looking at me. That's why I'm nervous. Hold on, it's backwards. Oh, y'all, I'm just so jittery this morning. I just had my first cup of iced coffee. But I don't think that's, it's the coffee. Okay, Sean, what you doing? Hold on, hold on, y'all. I'm trying to get it. I used to be really good at bows. I done lost my touch. It's still backwards. What is you doing, Sean? Uh, what is I, what is I'm doing wrong? Okay, let me try it this way. Cause baby, I'm about to boogie it up. I, I can tell already this is finna be a fool. <laughs> it may or may not, I don't know. It's backwards. The Christian is back. Good. It's going to have to stay like that because I'm just going to be tussling with this bow. Honey. And I'm such a, a perfectionist. Honey, that's all jacked up. The Christian is back. Good. Y'all see that? Honey, she boogied up. She boogied up bad. Look at that. The Christian is back. I got that backwards. I don't know, but she gonna stay like that. <laughs> so yeah, where was I? Uh, I don't like to put my bags on the ground, but she wanted to get out the way. 
Um, I just feel like I have so much to still share with you guys, but I'm truly, truly sorry, you guys. I just have a lot of stuff going on with the house, the floors getting done, trying to create content for you guys, get these um, product reviews out. It's just a lot. And I just got a strong feeling it's going to be much, much more because these companies are really, really enjoying the content that I put out. One thing I do love about me, this is just me, my personal opinion. I don't try to be perfect. Like I like to be perfect when it comes to my little things or whatever for is my bags. And stuff. You know, y'all yeah, get what I'm saying. But I think what companies enjoy about me is that I'm authentic and that sometimes when you look at certain other content creators, reels and videos, they try to be too polished. Like it's all beautiful and aesthetically pleasing because I, I strive for that as well. But mine is genuinely natural. Like I don't want it to look like it's mocked up, if you will. Um, it just looks like it's very intentional. You know, so I believe and I'm manifesting there's going to be many more companies reach out to me, you guys. And I, I mean, I really owe it all to you guys because if it wasn't for you guys, they wouldn't be searching for me. If you, you know, you get what I'm saying. So I'm humbly grateful for you guys and I'm humbly just appreciative for all the love, the comments, the likes, the shares, all that. And I'm very, very grateful for my new subscribers i i see that our numbers are rising up thank you guys so much for joining the sunshine squad really do mean a lot to me because i've been on youtube probably a little over five years now and i used to always beat myself up like why am i not growing why am i not you know getting to where i need to go to like see you know, improvement. And when I say improvement, mean like monetized and all that good stuff that us YouTubers do. Um, but I mainly didn't do it for that. My whole purpose was just to create content, you know, and connect with like-minded people. Because I started off doing like what's in my bags and stuff like that. And then I just gradually got into like Ray Dunn and home decor and all that good stuff. And now I'm like a array of things which is you know home fashion and lifestyle um so that's why i have a both both world of you know pink and girly um subscribers as well as home decor uh people that follow me and that's also why i have two instagram pages because i wanted to divide the two because i was getting a little kickback of those who were saying you know, they was going to, not necessarily, they was going to only watch me if I put out pink stuff or girly stuff. But, um, I just did the both. This is, this is why the Wednesday girly stuff come about and the Sunday more so like the vlog, the lifestyle was a collective or whatever. If I'm making sense, I hope I'm making sense to you guys. So I just want to say thank you to all you guys so much, because like I said, without you guys, it wouldn't be no little to shine, honey. And these companies wouldn't be reaching out to me because I really do genuinely want to expand my platform. I don't want to come too fast because, you know, I, I don't think I'm mentally ready for that yet, but I, I do want it to, to come. And I really believe it, it will because some amazing companies has reached out to me. I don't think I've had, I'm about to lie, there's only one product that I represented that um, I enjoyed it at first, but after a few weeks, it was just not, you know, living up to its, you know, standards. So I let the company know. Um, they didn't say necessarily that they was going to take me off their roster, but I don't think I would be receiving, you know, a routine uh, product delivery, um, whatever. Because I want to be honest. Like I've always told you guys, I have to be honest with you guys. I'm not one to just tell you anything just so i can get you know my recognition for putting out the content and or whatever because a lot of the stuff is affiliated i do get a small commission and that commission is very very small but with you guys love and support and just sharing my video watching my video i'm sure my commission would get 
gradually a little larger or whatever um but it's just a small commission just to help me keep creating content for you guys you know it's not a whole bag yet but we gonna get there <laughs> We gonna get there though, just just promise. And I have to always, always, always give back to you guys and let you guys know how much I appreciate you guys. That's why I'm so excited to do another giveaway soon. Cause baby, we finna hit that thousand. It's overdue. It's over, 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 overdue. Like it, mm, it's overdue, honey. But I'm gonna continue to put in the hard work to make sure we get there. Cause Y'all know how my little heart is. I get sucking in my heart for you guys. And I love to do giveaways. But, yeah. Enough of that. Oh, my iced coffee leaked on my, um, well, it's okay. My little mat. So, I just have my basic iced coffee. They didn't have my caramel macchiato at the grocery store that I went to. I normally do Delight, um, the brand Delight for my iced coffee. They didn't have a caramel macchiato. So, I... Um, picked the churro. I've had it before and I said I ain't too much care for it but that was all that they had and I couldn't be without my iced coffee since the doctor told me I have to cut back on my regular coffee. Um, So I just did my um, churro. I did a caramel vanilla. Is it caramel vanilla? Caramel syrup and caramel creamer just you know i do my routine again one day um because i've done it before if you've been following me for a while you've seen it or oh, whatever so yeah i'm gonna get off here and end this vlog so i can make sure i get this video out for you guys in a decent time i didn't want to rush i know that sometimes it may look like i'm just rushing but i don't want to just throw anything out there for you guys i want to make sure it's good content fun entertaining um and just authentic content i was going to jump in the car with the hubby because he went off to somewhere somewhere where they deal with posters because he's a big collector of, of like um movie posters and stuff but he's going to get something fitted in a frame or something and i was going to jump in the car with him with a truck with him and stick my head into home goods and tj maxx that's in this area of texas called din but he's not going there where he said he found a location that's closer over here and there's nothing really much over there Besides a Ross, if you go down further down the other freeway, which is highway something. And I, I was like, I ain't finna get in that Texas heat. Because I know y'all know this. I'm always home. I'm always in my moo moo, my gap, baby. Because look, I'm a content creator. I'm a full-time wife. I work from home. I don't have to be out in that heat if I don't choose to. Because yesterday was 109. And... The doctor said I can't be in no heat. <laughs> That's my excuse. I'm sticking by. <laughs> so yeah, let me get stop rambling and um get off here and get this room cleaned up. So the next time y'all see me, it should be done. If it ain't, y'all come over here and whoop my butt. Cause China, you chilling too hard. But yeah, I hope you guys have truly enjoyed this vlog. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend, and I'll catch y'all on my next one. <laughs>